This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joely Reggi. Newly appointed Chief Justice Mata Kome might have sailed through from her nomination to approval by parliament. However, the country's next top judge has her job well cut out. Kome will be forced to confront threats by the executive to interfere with the independence of the judiciary, especially with the proposed introduction of the Judiciary Ombudsman. When she appeared before the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee of the National Assembly, Kome vowed to protect the independence of the judiciary. But with the BBI cases still alive in court, Kome is poised to have a daunting task on how she will protect the independence of the judiciary. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. The just concluded twin by-elections have exposed the soft underbelly of the handshake as the two sides engaged in rare exchanges hours after President Uhuru Kenyatta's jubilee candidates lost narrowly in the decisive races. On Wednesday, Uhuru's handshake partner and ODM leader, Raila Odinga, came out blasting the president's men, accusing them of conducting political experiments in the Bonchari and Juja by-elections. This is the first time since the 2018 handshake that Raila is launching a scathing attack on Uhuru's Jubilee government for using state machinery and police in the two by-elections. University and college students could be in for a bumpy ride as the government plans to cut off study loans for 95,000 students. The Higher Education Loans Board says COVID-19 has slumped its fund pool, pushing it to reduce the number of students getting loans to aid their studies. The effects, Charles Ringera, the HELB chief executive, said could see a number of students from low-income families drop out and others defer their academic study in search of fees, consequently delaying their graduation. HELB intended to provide the loans to 545,000 students in universities and technical colleges this year. This would cost about 15.5 billion shillings. Kenyans who are above 18 years and are not living with a parent or unmarried will be compelled to contribute to the National Hospital Insurance Fund. A new bill seeks to provide for mandatory contributions by the group of persons at rates to be defined by the NHIF board. The proposal, sponsored by Majority Leader Amos Kimunya, exempts from the provision persons under 21 years who have no income and are living with a contributor. Also to be exempted are persons below 25 years and are in school, hence have no income save for their scholarship or bursary. President Uhuru Kenyatta has called for debt swaps and restructuring to help Africa cope with the financial burden occasioned by COVID-19. He equally suggested an accelerated access to alternative sources of financing as part of new approaches to financing of Africa's recovery from the pandemic. This comes as the Debt Service Suspension Initiative nears its expiry on June 30th, 2021. A debt swap is where a foreign debt owed by a developing country is transferred to a particular organization, typically in return for the country committing itself to specified conservation measures. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash.